Remember with this example, we talked about passing groups of pixels from the input to given nodes in the first hidden layer, rather than passing every single input value to every single node in the hidden layer. So for example, we have this group here in the top left is passed and processed only by this node in the hidden layer. And then we have this group of pixels is only being passed and processed by this node, and then so on for the next two. And go back and just check out that previous lesson if you need a refresher, because there we harped on this example for much longer in much more detail. But the key point here is that because we are talking about passing groups of pixels together that are close to each other in the input space, that these groups of pixels as input are only sparsely connected to the first hidden layer rather than densely connected with the alternative approach where this first hidden layer is a fully connected layer. In that previous lesson, we gave a preview by saying that this handling of the data is exactly what convolutional layers do. But at that time, we hadn't yet learned about these types of layers or CNNs in general. So now that we have covered CNNs in great depth, we can now make the connection that this grouping of pixels is exactly what is being done through the use of a convolutional filter.